Um, Cowardly the dog, thank you for five. Sterling pound silver. Says, uh, I always thought you were the nicer one because as a non-American, New Yorkers are generally more pleasant to deal with than non-New York City Americans because we have a bad rap. Here's the thing. New Yorkers aren't always assholes. We're just always in a hurry. We always move faster than you. We always want you out of our fucking way. It's good places to go. And we move at a faster pace. We come off as very impatient and prickish, but it's just, it's just that nature. But we're actually pretty nice people for the most part. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is the plural. Look at this guy. You're such a cute fuck. You know that? You're the cutest fuck in the world. So anyway... We get the detergent. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go put my laundry in, whatever. So I'm putting laundry in. And as I'm doing the laundry, all of a sudden I hear, hello. And I'm like, I turn around. I'm like, what now? Because now there's some guy wandering around the backyard of the Airbnb. And I was like, can I help you? And he's like, oh, yeah, uh, Drew, Drew Royce. And I go, no, no, I'm not Royce. I'm Mike. And he's like, oh. He's like, uh, uh, do, do you have the, the Cadillac, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, um, yeah, uh, listen, uh, I'm really sorry about the parking space thing. I did not know what was going on with that. But I want to go ahead and get you a parking spot tonight. So um, he's like, and I'm putting laundry physically in the machine while he's talking to me. And I'm like, and he's like, yeah, so uh, we're going to fix that right now. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I need you to um, just move your truck. So I could get one of the cars out and then I'll, you know, then you can put, you have a spot. And I'm like, are you telling me right now I'm, while I'm doing laundry? Are you telling me that I'm going to have to move my car again? And the guy's like, yeah, you know, so I can get you a parking spot, whatever. Uh, you know, and I'm like, no, I'm doing something right now. You will wait. And the guy's like, all right, and he, he was the owner of the Airbnb or whatever. And he goes, uh, he's like, what about, I'm like, go talk to Royce. He's inside. He's right there. He's looking at him through the window, right? <clears throat> so I go, he goes, so you come over the truck? I said, no, I'm not. I'm not right now. I'm doing something. I go, ask one of them. My keys are inside. They'll move it. And he goes, oh, okay, well, uh, could you go in there and tell them to move the truck? And I fucking, dude, I let out the most Dennis Reynolds where I was squeaking, my voice was squeaking. And I went, I'll just do everything. I'll just fucking do everything. I screamed at this guy, right? And he's like, whoa, okay, man, like whatever. And he went inside, he talks to Royce, right? So I'm putting laundry in, right? I immediately hear Royce screaming. It's the funniest shit ever. Like, it's like, oh, you thought you were gonna have better luck with him. Mm, mm -mm, not much. Um, we want a taste of the title. So he went in there, got screamed at by Royce too. So much so, the guy wanted to give us like a partial refund and everything. Like he, he he knew it was a fucking problem. So I ended up moving the car again, but I was like, I'll wait till I'm done with the fucking, you know, just whatever. Alex H said, you should have just gotten a Marriott. That's my motto, dude. Just stay at the Marriott. It's always the same experience at a Marriott. S somewhat above mediocre, but fine. It's always fine. So I just lost my shit on this guy. Royce is losing his shit on the guy. And we finally go out. We actually had a good time after that. We're having, a, you know, having some drinks. We're relaxing a little bit. It was much nicer once we got out of the air. But it was like all weekend. It was one thing after another, after another, after a fucking another. And um, like the rage was just explosive by that point with this fucking guy. So we get up the next day, right? And the night before, I was kind of like, I don't know. Do we even want to go to this event? Like, what are we going to, like, what's going to happen? We're just going to, it's going to be just like the fucking Deplorapalooza. It's going to be just like the fucking, all these other little right wing fucking sausage fests we go to where everybody's like, man, we got to protect our children and illegal immigration. And fucking somebody, you know, they're always going to play fucking Lee Greenwood, proud to be an American. They're always going to play that at some point on the PA system. We've done this a hundred times. And so we get, by the way, we got there the night of, right? It, it's like everyone knew it was going to be my birthday pretty much when we hit midnight. That was the other thing I left out. When we got to Miami, we got to Doral, we were settling in and we immediately text Alex Stein. And we're like, hey, man, just letting you know, you know, uh, you know, it's Mercer's birthday. We just got into town. We want to hang out if you want. We're going to go out if you want to go out, whatever. And he just texts us back like, oh, yeah, I'm in South Beach uh, with my producer. We're filming stuff. He's like, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow at the event. Right. So we're like, oh, yeah. All right. So, you know, fuck me then, you know, uh, which is fine. Whatever. It's not like we had plans to hang up, but it was still like, oh, OK, I'll just see you at the event. 
So we go through all this Airbnb drama. It's all fucking stressful. Everybody's miserable. We get up the next day, right? Mm. Frozen, that is good shit, man. We get up the next day. Oh, we had negotiated a later checkout too. The guy was like, I'm very sorry. Please, I give you a partial refund and do whatever. Please, he doesn't want a bad review. So we're like, look, just fucking, you know, just let us have a late checkout and, you know, take a couple bucks off the bill and we'll be fine. The guy's like, all right, cool. Uh, Feral Agent says, running an Airbnb sounds like a nightmare. It, it is in a lot of ways, but we're not nightmare clients. And it, this guy wouldn't have had any problems if he just didn't run a, a fucking a, a paid parking lot in front of his house. By the way, all the cars in front of his house had these weird lock boxes, like where where it's like uh, you, you hang them from the driver's side window and they clip in. So when you roll the window up, they're like securely in there. And I guess like you, you use the key or whatever to lock and unlock the car, drive the car. And then when you're done with the car, you put the keys in the lock box and it's like a, it's like an Airbnb lock box too. So I'm like, the fuck? so Royce is like, these people are fucking doing some kind of shit. We're all getting annoyed at it. So the next day we just get up and, um, Oh, let me see. Thumper, oh, wait, Thumper just said, uh, Forty Creek is pretty good. Even the cheap stuff is decent. He got me one of the good ones, did he? I wish I'd known. I wish I'd known it was like a fancy. I wish I'd known a Forty Creek Confederation Oak Reserve is a good shit. Okay. I like it. It's good, though. So I'm like, whatever, man. We get up. So we get up the next day. And, uh, I'm hungover a little bit. I'm like, yo, whatever, fucking blah, blah, blah. You got the grand reserve. Is that what it is? All right. Well, I, I, then I owe Frozen something very nice next time it's his birthday or Christmas. Um, so yeah, I, uh, we get up the next day and I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, I'm fucking tired, whatever. And I'm like, I, and, and Royce and Frozen were already wide awake. They'd been up for like two hours and I'm getting up like a half hour before checkout time. And I'm like, all right, I'm like, and I already showered the night before I got all ready. I got all my clothes laid out. I did everything right before bed so that I could just get up, hop in, let's go. And, uh, so I get up and I'm all groggy and I'm like, all right, guys, I'm like, just give me a couple minutes and I'll get out of here. We'll be out of here in time. And Royce is like, fuck being out of here in time. I don't give a fuck. He's like, take till 12 noon. I don't give a shit. We'll leave when we leave. Fuck this guy. And he's still in a mood. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So then I'm like, this is the second time in history that me and Royce have driven to Miami specifically to be at an event. The first time was within Harrison Smith and the uh, other time was with... Uh, this time it was supposed to be to hang out with Alex Stein. Um, we get there, but we get up, whatever. And I'm like, I'll be ready in a few. I said, don't worry. We won't be late to the event. And Royce just kind of goes, we got media passes and everything, but you want to just go fuck off and hang out with John? And I'm like, I would love to go fuck off and hang out with John. Like John's my favorite. For those of you that don't know John, he was on an episode of ROTC like once, I think. Or it might have been just a movie riff that we did, but we watched his movie, Crossbones. Or I, No, I know for a fact he's been on our show, but that wasn't for Crossbones. The Crossbones thing was on Pessy's stream, and it was the infamous stream that got him taken down from DLive. Uh, but John's just like this jacked personal trainer, like buddy of ours that we've known forever. He did acting and all that kind of shit. So we uh, we're like, fuck this. Let's just go hang out with John. I don't want to do right-wing gay shit this is, i'm so, so tired of it i'm so tired of having it i'm not gonna spend my weekend talking about the deep state this is fucking stupid so yeah buff baby kitty bean remembers buff baby beautiful buff baby and um so we you know whatever it's like fucking we're like all right so you just want to go hang out with john he's like i'll go hit up john right now i was like okay uh camera chris says he's been on day wave for the past week or more oh that's awesome i'm glad because i love john um, but I'm like, yeah, let's just go hang out with John. And we just did that. And then we just left Miami. We got Cuban coffee, got a nice breakfast. And then we just hung out with John, had some drinks and left and, uh, headed back home. Figured, fuck it. You know, it's just, it was, it was better. Um, 